Hey guys, it's a proud cat lover, and welcome to episode 3 of Raising Monarchs. And as you can see here, the caterpillars are getting a lot bigger. And we've so far had two casualties, which I'm not completely surprised because I knew there would be casualties. We also had one that tried to escape, because I was doing a count to make sure that they were all here. And I counted only 40. I'm like, well, that's kind of weird. Where did the other six go? So I found one under the paper towel. One was on the top up here, but underneath, so it was on this side. One was right here, and then one was out here, just roaming around. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? And so, of course, then the other two were the ones that passed away, So, which I already knew. So it actually was like four of them that were missing. So I was like, well, that's strange. Where'd they go? So, but yeah, luckily I caught the one that was trying to escape. It was this little guy here. He is very small, so that would probably be why he was able to fit through the mesh. But luckily, none of the others had tried to escape or they were too big. <laughs> so, but here are some of the little caterpillars. You can see now that they're starting to get their little black stripes. So cute. And some of them are actually even getting those spots because, you know, with monarch caterpillars, and I'll put a picture on the screen real quick. They have those uh, black antenna looking appendages that they grow on their heads and on their rear ends and you can see with this one it's starting to grow those at least on the front end you can see them but yeah so they're doing good I'm gonna be getting some fresh leaves from my milkweed outside because I'm getting ready to go outside and water but I wanted to show you guys all the little caterpillars because they're getting big so I'll pick up make sure there's no caterpillars I'm getting ready to squish or anything pick up this leaf to show you some of the little guys up close. And I am planning on getting my macro lens that I used for my Raising Ladybugs series that I did a few years back. Because that one, that lens of course is macro so you will be able to see them really close up and in better detail than what my phone can do. So I have the day off, so I'm planning on doing a lot of stuff today, and hopefully videoing these guys is going to be one of the things I'll be able to fit into my agenda. But yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little update, getting to see them get a little bit bigger. And uh, like I said, where we had two casualties that didn't end up making it, and they were pretty tiny. Like I feel like they were some of the ones that uh, hatched late, and they just did not do very well, because... I don't think that there's going to be a very high risk of them getting a fungal disease like they did last year because this container is an air container, an air net container. And the container I used last year was just a plastic container with a bunch of holes. And there was way more likely a chance for mold and stuff to grow in those kinds of containers than in this one that's all open. And I've been keeping my ceiling fan going so it rotates or circulates air through this. So anyway, guys... I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you for watching and have a good rest of your day.